All right, I think I finally figured out why I've been so out of sync. Uh, I've been out for a while, haven't been able to fish. Then I got a good streak of weather, got all caught up. <clears throat> so I started getting out. Well, right off the bat, when I first started going out, I started hearing water just pouring in somewhere in the kayak. And then I noticed this. One of my existing cracks came undone and got a lot bigger. So it runs all the way through here. And then I stand on this and it basically just opens up on the side there and it just gushes in because this fills with water. Um, also has a new crack that runs along here, hairline. I drilled this tap hole right now because I'm going to repair it. And then there's another crack. See right goes along through here. And it basically, the repair just ended up giving and it just split open. The water's just flooding in there. Well, I didn't want to stop fishing because I hadn't fished in a long time and I hadn't had a chance to get on the water and I had a nice weather window. So I figured I'll, I'll just live with it. So I just have to keep pumping it out and fill up pumping it out. Then after my first trip, I came up with a good idea, which was, well, I initially when I was out on my first trip, I took off my face mask and just stuck my face mask in there and it, it slowed down the water. I thought, well, that worked. Maybe if I got like a, a rag or even better yet, an oily rag that was more water resistant, put that in there and that'll fix it. And it did. I had this rag that I've used for the last three years for all of my oil, gas, uh, brake fluid, uh, see this from the battery fluid, acid, uh, any kind of caustic uh, fluids, I'd use this specific rag to sop it up. And I thought, oh, okay, that'll be great as a kind of water resistant naturally. Um, I would, when I get, got to the launch, I would just soak it in the water and then I would throw it in there, pack it in there, pack it in there, and that would block the water from hitting this spots and it really actually almost stopped it. So that's why I've been using this last three trips and I couldn't figure out why I've been having such a problem with the, the, the catching the fish, even with like chumming and I would chum and nothing would show up. I would use the bait and like the cut mullet and it would seem like they were just like disgusted <laughs> with what I was offering them. And I knew it's not the best bait. It's frozen, refrozen mullet that I've been had in there, but I've caught fish with them. And then when I was throwing out those Goliath groupers and they were like nothing to do with it. They just, as soon as it hit the water, they're like, we're out of here. Swim it right by him and drop it on his nose. Right about there. Unless he's like taking a nap. Gotta smell it. It's right in front of you, buddy. Oh, he's swimming away from it. He's actually swimming away from it. Oh, Lord. He's actually not wanting it. He was actually repulsed by the refrozen mullet. Um, same with chumming and to those uh, uh, channels there and nothing was coming out, not even the mangroves. I couldn't figure it out. But I think what happens is this thing was packed full of gas, oils, all that stuff. And then this well right here stays full of water because this is just basically the relief as well as the drainage for my uh, Mirage Drive foot pedals. I actually use this as a live well when I have live baits because uh, it always carries water in there. But what happened is that water would leach in here and then it would drain into this little partition right here. And when I cut bait, had my chum bag in here, I would leave those just sitting in there and it would just swamp it. It would just basically just saturate it with oil and gas and all those fluids that were in this. This used to be just like pitch black. Now it's actually cleaning up because I've used it like three different trips and it would just coat that with just petroleum products. Then I'd take that petroleum product bait and then I'd try to use it and the fish would give me the finger. So I think that's what my problem is. So I'm going to fix this, get rid of the oily rag and then try it again. So hopefully that'll get me back in sync. Hopefully. <laughs>